Welcome to the Metal Roofing Learning Channel's Standing Seam Series. Gable trim is generally the next step after you have installed your standing seam panels. For a step-by-step -step guide to installing standing seam panels, click the link above. A four-piece gable detail will consist of a receiver trim, angle trim, trim cleat, and gable trim. In this video, we'll walk you through laying out your trim, installing receiver trim, installing angle trim, installing trim cleat, preparing gable trim at eave, overlapping gable trim, preparing gable trim at peak, and fastening gable trim. This is the Metal Roofing Learning Channel. Brought to you by Western States Metal Roofing, where you can find a variety of colors and finishes, all while saving by buying Factory Direct. Click the link above for your free quote today. Use of the following video content is subject to the warning, disclaimer of warranties, and limitation of liability as set forth on this screen. For this installation, these are the parts that are required. This installation shows an optional fascia wrap. Fascia wrap is a trim piece which covers and protects the exposed fascia. It's installed prior to the trim cleat and gable trim. For instructions on installing a fascia wrap, click the link above. Layout. Prior to installation, it's best to plan the layout of your gable trim. For example, a standard length of trim is 10 feet. If your roof is 32 feet wide, you'll end up with a small two foot piece of gable trim at the ridge or peak. A better layout will begin with a six foot piece of trim, then two standard 10 foot pieces and end with a six foot piece at the ridge. Symmetry will always lead to a better overall aesthetic. When planning the layout of your gable trim, do not forget to account for six inches needed at overlaps, one inch needed for ridge preparation and an inch and a quarter needed at eave ends. Installing a receiver trim. The receiver trim shown here will serve two purposes. It will hold your first and last standing seam panels in place, and it will be used to fasten your gable after you install your roofing panels. The receiver trim is installed using pancake screws 12 inches on center. We recommend pre-drilling holes prior to installation. The trim is simply cut to size and installed flush to the gable side of your roof, one inch from your ridge line and flush to your eave. For long runs, the receiver trim is simply butted end to end. No overlapping is needed. Installing Trim Cleat. Trim Cleat is a continuous piece of metal that's designed to hold the gable trim in place. The hem at the drip edge of the gable trim will hook into the trim cleat. Place your gable trim into its position and outline the lower edge. Next, use your outline as a guide. Line up your trim cleat with the line and fasten using pancake screws 12 inches on center. Additional sections of trim cleat are simply butted end to end. No overlaps are needed. Angle trim is installed in order to attach the gable and hide the galvanized part of the receiver trim. Fasten your angle trim onto the receiver trim using pop rivets. Pop rivets should be placed 12 inches on center. We suggest using a swivel head pop rivet gun as it allows you to easily install rivets into the angle trim. Preparing Gable Trim at Eave. Place your gable trim into its position and trace out the Eave outline. Using the outline as a guide, 
Cut the 45 degree line at the drip edge section only. Flip your gable trim over. From the end of your cut, trace a straight line across your trim. Draw a parallel line inch and a quarter from your first mark. Cut your gable trim along the second line. On both sides of your trim, cut along your inner mark all the way to the top of your trim piece. Half an inch from the top of your trim piece, cut horizontal lines on both sides of the trim. Notch cut the inner corner of the tab. Pry open the inner hem. Fold the tab downwards 90 degrees. A single pop rivet can be used to hold the tab in place. Overlapping. Overlaps of trim should be six inches. Start by marking six inches onto your trim. At the drip edge, begin notching out the hem of the trim up to the six inch mark. On the top, cut up to the six inch mark. Two beads of silicone sealant should be placed on the section of trim, three inches from the edge. Next, hook your gable trim onto the trim cleat to prevent the silicone from spreading. Preparing gable at peak. Using a T-bevel, lock in the angle of your roof. Mark the angle onto your trim. Next, mark an additional line one inch parallel to your first mark. Cut along your second mark. Mark a straight line across the remaining sides. Cut along your outline. Notch cut tabs on the top and lower section of the trim. At the drip edge, cut along your first mark. Then cut at a 45 degree angle to form a tab. Using a hand seamer, Slightly bend the top tab downwards. Using a T-bevel, lock in the angle of your roof. Mark the angle on the adjacent piece of trim. At the top section, mark a straight line. From your straight line, mark the angle of the roof onto the back side of your trim. Using metal cutting snips, cut along your traced outline. When cutting sections of trim, it's best to cut a larger section out first, then carefully go back and trim at the outline.
three pop rivets should be placed along seam. Fastening. A strip of double-sided beetle tape should be placed on the top of your angle trim. Next, hook your gable trim onto the trim cleat and firmly press it down onto the beetle tape. Pop rivets should be used to attach your gable trim onto the angle trim along the path of the double-sided beetle tape. Looking for more standing seam installation videos? Be sure to like and subscribe as we release new videos weekly. Learn how to install a ridge cap and more. Check out these videos.